Have you ever wondered how people make 3D charts in Excel? <laughs> no, I don't mean the default 3D graphs that Excel ships with. I'm talking about ones like these, the ones that absolutely blow people away. In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret that thousands of people have been using to generate these plots that you just saw. It's a simple, easy copy and paste method that anyone can do. No formatting or VBA required. If you're ready, then let's transform your Excel data into some stunning visuals. The first thing is that you're going to need some XYZ data. Otherwise, you're limited to the default 2D graphs like pie charts and columns that Excel normally comes with. You see, Excel's native charting capabilities are limited to 2D, so we need that Z value or that third dimension to make things stand out. We're also going to be using a third party application called XYZ Mesh. XYZ Mesh lets you create easily customizable interactive 3D graphs that you can share and even export into Excel workbooks. XYZ Mesh is a paid for application, but the free trial lets you explore all the features for five days. It will get you up and running, and after the five days, you can still export to Excel, just in a limited quantity. Before using XYZ Mesh, you will need to copy your data first from Excel. Select your XYZ data, right click and select copy, or you can use the shortcut key Control C. Open up XYZ Mesh, select the first cell in the input tab, and either right click and select paste, or you can use the shortcut key Control V. Once your data has been pasted, it will load in a 3D scatter plot that you can see on the right. You can zoom in, out, rotate, pan, just like you would any other advanced graphing software. If you want to take this chart and put it into Excel, simply click the Export to Excel button. You can have custom settings here, such as company branding and things like that, but all you need to do to get this into Excel, click Export to Excel one more time. Excel will then populate with a new workbook with your data inside of it and an interactable graph. For those of you who look closely at the Excel export window, you might have noticed the option for animations. XYZ Mesh allows you to create animations of your 3D scatter plots. This is helpful for demonstrations of how points are progressing or to show movement of points. By toggling this option on and clicking export to Excel, you will produce a new workbook that has a button. Clicking the button will show an animation of your data moving. Where XYZ Mesh really shines is in its surface plotting and curving of data. With surface graphs, Excel automatically calculates empty data points as zeros, which sounds fine, but in actuality, it just makes your data look awful. XYZ Mesh automatically curves your data around, filling in any empty data points, and just making your data look more complete, something that Excel can never actually do natively. In XYZ Mesh, select Auto Curve and click Convert to Mesh. Auto Curve will fill in all empty data gaps, which will make the chart look more professional. Once it's completed, you can change the type of graph to other graphing options. By the default, it is set to a wireframe, but you can change it to a solid surface or there's lots of other options as well. When you're happy with your graph, click Export to Excel. In the Export window, there will be a few more options with 3D surfaces than you do just scatter plots but just like before if you just want your data into excel with your graph click export to excel as soon as it is done processing the new workbook will appear with your new surface graph there's a lot of features I didn't cover, like interactive 3D modeling or surface graphs that's customizable with color schemes and depth coloring, but just know that XYZ Mesh does offer those options and many more. For now, I hope that this video was helpful. If you would like to try XYZ Mesh out for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. If you're still curious about XYZ Mesh and want to explore more of it, we do have a full tutorial series available on the right. We also have a video about how to draw floor plans in Excel. I mean, it's a little bit old, but it still works and it's got some good information in it. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching and until next time, have a great rest of your day.